In Washington, President Truman holds his last formal meeting with members of his cabinet before he hands over his office to General Eisenhower. The conference is soon over, and now outgoing Secretary of State Dean Acheson presents Mr. Truman with the big leather chair that he has occupied during his eight years in the White House as President of the United States. Meanwhile, in New York, John Foster Dulles and Richard Nixon gather with other Republican leaders for the first meeting with the men who will soon hold the reins of America's government. Now, President-elect Eisenhower, with Sherman Adams, his number one aide, arrive for the conference. The conference goes on for two days, and plans are laid for America's domestic and foreign policies in the next four years. Major John Eisenhower, the president-elect son, arrives in New York by air from Korea to attend his father's inauguration ceremony. The 29-year-old officer has been overseas for eight years, but now father and son are reunited for the Eisenhower's Day of Days.